Hello and welcome. It's Travis from 80%Lowers.com. Today with a quick how-to guide, I'm going to show you how to assemble a Glock slide piece by piece, start to finish. Uh, this is a Glock 19 slide from LFA Elite. This will work with factory Glock 19s as well as any finished Polymer 80 PF940C frame you might have fabricated. This is actually part of one of our Glock 19 compatible build kits, so it also includes the components for your frame itself, but we're not going over that today. Again, we're just going over how to assemble the slide. Now, if you're trying to assemble a different type of Glock slide, like say a Glock 17 or something similar, you can still follow along with these steps. If you did purchase all of your components separately, make sure you have everything pictured here on the table before we get started. I'll go over what exact components you need, then I'll show you one specialty tool that you need for your channel liner, and then we'll go over the install steps. So out back here we have our slide cover plate, as well as our extractor, then we have our firing pin safety, and our firing pin safety spring. For our firing pin assembly, we have the firing pin itself, as well as the firing pin spring. We have the spacer sleeve. We have our spring cups that act as spring retainers once this is all put together. Then we have the channel liner that helps position the firing pin inside the slide. Now on the side here, we have our extractor depressor plunger. We have the plunger spring, and we have this small plastic spring-loaded bearing. And last but not least, we have our barrel with our recoil spring. And since the LFA Elite slide is cut for an RMR type optic, we're also installing a hollow sun red dot. So the only tools that you really need for this install are a gunsmithing hammer. I recommend one with a polymer head. And you're also gonna need something called a channel liner install tool. So I have the channel liner right here and the channel liner installs inside the slide and it is friction fit, which means it just is a very tight fit and you gotta kinda slam it in there. Now this is made out of hollow plastic. And so if you don't use a channel liner install tool and you just try and hammer it in by itself, you're probably gonna end up flaring out the plastic and you're probably gonna end up ruining this. Now if you don't have a channel liner install tool, you can also get away with using a hollow punch, uh, one that's 730 seconds in diameter. But we're just gonna use the actual tool provide it in our kit. Before you hammer it in, it's really important that you make sure you inspect the channel liner. Uh, one end is kind of flat and one end has sort of a gently beveled uh, end and the gently beveled end is the one that wants to face towards the muzzle. So take the flat end and insert it on the channel liner install tool like so and then we're just going to line it up here in this hole and we're going to tap it into place. Easy enough. And then once you've finished tapping the channel liner in all the way, you can verify that it is fully seated. It should be resting just below this little raised lip inside the slide itself. It's kind of hard to see, but you can just barely make it out in there. Next, we're going to do the firing pin assembly. So for starters, grab the firing pin itself and grab this little hollow plastic piece that kind of looks like the channel liner we just installed. Now this has a little cutout right here and it lines up with the post on the bottom of the firing pin. Just slide it on here. Uh, like so. Okay, the next thing that we're going to want to do is slide the uh, spring over the firing pin and what you want to do is compress it as much as possible so that you can get these little spring cup retainer things on here and they're going to rest just below the head of the firing pin like so. Now it's kind of a hard thing to do. There's really no good way to go about this but what I like to do is get a uh, leather glove and then once I slide this on here like so, I use that glove to get some added grip and I just compress this down and I use my free hand to put the cups on. Okay, next we're gonna do the extractor assembly here. So you want the extractor rod, and you're just gonna grab the spring, and you're gonna slide it over the end of the rod here. It takes a little bit of force. You might have to rotate the spring a little bit to get it to fully seat. And then on the opposite side, just push the little plastic plunger into the spring all the way. Okay, now with that out of the way, we can actually start to put the slide together. Uh, we're gonna start with the firing pin safety. So go ahead and grab that. Grab this little spring here that's gonna insert in the end of the firing pin safety and press it in like so. And on this hole right here in the slide, that's where we're gonna throw the safety in spring first. Let's go ahead and line it up, insert it all the way. And then using your finger, just push down on the safety as much as you can and slide the firing pin into the slide. And once it's seated, it'll hold the safety in place. So go ahead and grab the extractor here. You can see we got this little round end on the extractor, and that's gonna line up with this little hole in the slide here just behind the firing pin safety. With the extractor on there, just keep pressure on it with your finger. And then we're gonna come out to the back of the slide, and you've got this little hole right here next to the channel liner, and we're gonna insert that extractor rod assembly, and you're gonna do the rod end first. 
Okay, next up is the cover plate for the back of the slide. Um, you just wanna line up the metal tabs on either side of the plate with the grooves on the back of the slide right here. And in order to get this to fit, you're gonna have to compress the springs on the firing pin assembly and the extractor plunger. So I like to come in with a big punch and push down on the firing pin assembly and kind of just get it seated enough to hold that in place. And then come in with a smaller punch and push down on the extractor. And that should give you enough clearance to get this on there. And then it's a tight fit, so if you need to, just come in with your gunsmithing hammer and lightly tap it. Okay, so you're all done technically with your slide. Uh, you can throw your barrel in now, which is super easy to do. You don't need any tools. Uh, just make sure these lugs are facing up and towards the rear of the slide. Insert the muzzle down into front. Slide the barrel back all the way like so. Grab your recoil spring and rod, and the conical end on here is going to line up with this mounting hole on the bottom front of the slide and then apply gentle pressure to the back, you're gonna to wanna to get this to rest on that bottom step of this front lug, like so. And there you have it. You have officially assembled your custom Glock slide. Whether you built a high-speed P80 frame, which you can find on our site, or if you're just upgrading your factory Glock, hopefully this video helped you out. And again, like I mentioned in the beginning, this LFA slide is RMR cut, so I went ahead and threw my super cool high-speed hollow sun on there, which we also have available on our site. But from all of us at 80% Lowers, we'd like to thank you guys for watching, thank you for building, and we'll see you again next time.